You're soaking wet, your hair's a mess, but you won't care. No, Bob will had to go on today, it was a bit chilly and the coat lets water through, so uh, <laughs> who cares, it doesn't matter, but... Uh, Ooh, yeah, brilliant. Three points. All about the three points. Yeah, absolutely. And show great commitment and, and staying power in the game. Yeah, um, you know, after the last couple of games we had where the second half wasn't quite as dynamic as the first half, we worked hard during the week and we told the boys to trust their legs, go hard. And obviously there's the mental side of the game. I talked about it before. We, we took the lead conceded, took the lead, conceded. So to keep going and get that third was brilliant. And then I thought that we um, we saw the game out well. It's like a gift and a curse that, isn't it? Because you're looking at it going, they did keep going and they managed to restore the lead three times, mm. well, twice in the game after yeah. after being pegged back. But the other side of that sword is they were pegged back twice, having taken the lead. And it is that mental side of the game, concentration, engagement. Yeah, of course. And, and we know... We're not all of a sudden going to become the best defensive team in the league overnight. We know that there's things we still need to work on and we'll, we'll video that, video analysis that next week. But we, I thought we had a really good threat going forward. You know, we had some really good chances before the goals. The goals were great. It's good to see the strikers on the score sheet. Nathan could have scored as well. So we've got to take the positives from that. Well, everybody knew that you missed Kane Hemmings. The club missed Kane Hemmings. They missed John Stead. And I guess a performance like that today showed exactly how much they missed them because involved in all of the goals. Yeah, and I always say that forward players who have got good goal scoring record, they know how to score goals. They've got the goal scoring record because of that. So, you know, we didn't have enough of them probably on the pitch. Uh, we've got Christian Dennis as well. So we've got players who know how to score goals. We've just got to make sure that, you know, we, we create the chances for them. A word on Keston Davis as well, because he's quickly becoming a bit of a, a utility man at the football club. He's a centre half that's played there and right back and now defensive midfield. What a shift he put in today for a young man. Brilliant. Um, and, he, you know, centre midfield, when you're a centre back, centre midfield's really hard. They're, they're coming from all angles. It's, it's one of the most difficult positions. I just thought that Elliot Hewitt would naturally do the right back spot better and I thought Elliot was excellent so um, that helped us there I think the back four needed to be as strong as we could get it and then with Keston in front I tried to give him that little bit more defence minded protection and uh, although you know we conceded too they, they did great How much did the, the conditions start to play into it in the end because it was horrible out there It was um, it was always going to be scrappy. You know, we weren't going to all of a sudden win a game three or four nil. We was going to have to scrap for everything we had. Um, I thought the first half hour of the game was quite tepid. That both teams looked a little bit nervous, but as the game got going, I thought that uh, it, it grew. And towards the end, the most pleasing thing is, you know, you, you know, we've conceded some goals in the 80 minutes plus, and um, that was all about just trying to see the game out. Um, you know, we went 4-4-2 towards the end there. We put two strikers on. We went brave, and we just tried to see the game out, and they did it really well. What's the atmosphere like in that changing room right now? Because too often this season I've had to ask the manager, what's the atmosphere like in that changing room? And it's been sombre. I imagine it's quite the opposite. Yeah, they're buzzing. And um, you know, my job is to try and give them that belief that if they work with us and we work together, we can achieve it. And it's hard. You don't know what that winning feeling's like when you haven't had it for a while. So they've got it. And what we've got to make sure is that we work extremely hard next week because we've still got to be better than we was today uh, in order to pick up more points as we go along before Christmas. How do you keep that? element of confidence that no doubt that they've got there drip feeding all the way through training this week and on to Grimsby next week yeah um, I think the hard thing is when you win a game sometimes you go and then you take it a little bit easy the, the hard part now is to get them to go hard again to go even harder than we did last week and to get them on it even more so that you take the confidence but you also take that aggressive mentality towards you so we need to we need to pick up points next week as well but there must be a part of you with that being your first uh, match in charge here at Meadow Lane and there must be an element of you going a little bit, a little bit of relief to, to just get it out of the way early, get a first win. I think so, you know, I've had them two tough games, Sunderland away and Mansfield away and there was positives in it but I hadn't picked up the win so, you know, before you know it the fans will be saying, right, well, he hasn't done anything for us so it was great, the fans were brilliant and hopefully, you know, they've seen their team scrap, fight a little bit of nouse about them towards the end and they're all the qualities we're going to need to, to do what we need to do this season.